Hi, welcome back to Mama Four Boys. Uh, tonight, Tom is cooking for us, and he's going to tell us what he's making. So I'm making chicken po' boy sandwiches with tomato and lettuce and sauce. I'm going to fry the chicken and put it on like a hoagie bun. So first, I'm starting. I'm just going to dice one onion. That's a neat way to do it. Yeah. Okay, and we'll be back after the onions cut up. So the first step we're doing is just prepping all our veggies. I'm cutting up some jalapenos to go on top for our sandwiches. We already diced our whole yellow onion. Then next we're gonna do the lettuce and tomatoes. All right, we'll be back. All right, I just sliced up the tomatoes and now we're dicing up some pickles to go into our sauce. All right, we'll do that. So we have our buttermilk that we're going to put our chicken in. So, so far I've added cayenne, this cayenne, some Cajun seasoning, and some garlic powder. We're also going to add black pepper. up and then we'll be adding our chicken to it in a minute. All right. Before we cut up the chicken, I'm also going to add a little bit of hot sauce as well. Is that enough? Yeah. Okay, we'll be back. All right, so now we're going to make the sauce for our po' boys. So we're getting out some mayonnaise. It's just the remainder of what we had in one jar. And it's not very, it's like barely fits in there. We need a little bit smaller spatula, don't we? And this will be good for now. Sorry. That's fine. Oh. Okay, that should be a good amount of mayonnaise. Then we have oh, some diced pickles. These are homemade pickles. We have some horseradish. Not like a ton, but a decent amount. It's a lot of sauce, so yeah, horseradish is good. And we're going to do some of this yellow onion that I diced. Then some garlic. I think we probably need more mayonnaise. Yeah. Then some Dijon mustard. And some cayenne. So we want it a little bit spicy. Yeah. Salt. Anybody wants it spicier you can add more to it. Salt, pepper. Cajun seasoning. And a little bit of hot sauce. Oh, also paprika. What kind of paprika is that? That's Smoked the, paprika. Smoked paprika. Okay. Then a little bit of hot sauce. That's going to be great. And the parsley. And then we're going to add some more mayonnaise. Just add whatever we think we can need more of. So I burned it up all my chicken one time after having it in the buttermilk. So I'm going back in the buttermilk. I'm just 
getting a little bit on it, drying it off a little bit, and then re-dunking it in the flour, covering it. And I don't think I have enough buttermilk to do it to all of them, so I'm going to do it to as many of them as I can. All right, and we will be back soon. I started frying the chicken pieces at like 350 for about five and a half minutes a piece. And we're cutting them in half, at least most of them, and then we're going to be ready to plate it. All right, we'll be back. Hi, welcome back. Uh, you're in luck. It's time. We're going to do the taste test of this uh, wonderful chicken that Tommy made. Uh, it is absolutely out of this world. So he plated it up so beautiful. Uh, I'm just so proud of him. Let me give it a try here. Wow, I can't wait. Sauce, everything on here. It's going to be so good. Look at that. Just lovely. Perfectly made. Mm. Mm. The tomatoes, everything is, is, all the flavors are really out there, all the flavors together. The jalapenos are spicy. We have a chip. Mm. My goodness. Mm. One more bite. Oh, I've been waiting for him to make this. Look at this. Tomato, jalapeno, chicken, his sauce, lettuce. Mmm. Mmm. I'm going to get messy eating this. Mmm. Very good. Wow. Everybody should have a family member like this, a son like this that can cook this way, this uh, out of this world. So follow the recipe that Tommy had for uh, that he, his recipe for the dredging and everything else for the chicken, the way he cut it up and everything. Uh, make this for your family. They would just be blown away by it. And uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends about our channel, won't you? And until the next time we see each other, have a great rest of your night and God bless.